So before this vlog begins, I want to give a quick shout out to Rockford Tech for sending me an Apple Store gift card for the holiday season. Definitely did not have to do that. It's very nice of you, but he just generously decided to send me one. So thank you and said, get an Apple Watch man with it. So I decided on the Product Red Apple Watch Sport Loop. So I have not actually seen this in person before. And in pictures, I wasn't entirely sure what it was meant to look like, but I love the Sport Loop watch bands. They feel so much lighter than the regular like Nike ones that I'm typically wearing and I also love product red in fact my dream watch band that still doesn't exist granted made by Apple I know third parties have done this but I want a Nike one like this except it's red and the holes on the inside are black but who knows maybe maybe we'll get that someday so I'm going to slide it out like this got our Apple watch logo there and it's right on the oh wow okay this is cool okay this is really nice so normally um, when you see Apple watch bands on the website they don't actually accurately give you the color that they look like in person. And oftentimes I felt like the sport loop bands, uh, while they would say they are red, they don't actually show up as red in person or it would look blue on the website and not actually be blue in person. But this, this is like an absolute definite red and pins on the inside are black. So it's got like accents of black throughout the, uh, the fabric, which is really, really cool. I like the way this looks. So uh, I'm really glad Apple made this. I don't know if it's a limited edition or they're gonna keep selling this for a certain amount of time. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely trying this on uh, for the rest of the day and probably for the next few weeks because this watch band looks um, awesome. So I'm clicking it into my Apple Watch Series 4 right now. Even matches my red ring on the side. Slips on like this, no problem and it's Velcro, so boom, just like that, it's on my wrist, looks pretty great. I like it a lot, <laughs> complements the stainless steel, and uh, I do have a lot of Apple Watch bands, so originally I gave a lot of them away on Patreon because I just thought I had way too many watch bands, but now we may end up giving away the watch bands to anyone who watches the channel, because as it turned out, doing exclusive giveaways for Patreon is against their terms and conditions, I was not aware of that. I didn't know you couldn't specifically house giveaways just for Patreon members, apparently that's not allowed though. Patreon was very nice about it. They contacted me and said, hey, you're not really supposed to be doing that, so can you please stop it? And I did. So we can't do giveaways just for the Patreon members anymore, but in regards to Patreon, I'm kind of thinking about canceling it. While I am very, very grateful and I'm very appreciative of all of the help we've had from Patreon, I can't help but notice that a lot of people have been deleting their pledges and a lot of people haven't been supporting as much as they used to, and I'm not offended by that. It's not really even affecting our income. Patreon has been helpful but it's definitely not like a crucial form of income for our channel. But I just can't help but feel like I don't really fulfill a lot of the pledges on there and a lot of the rewards that I offer on Patreon are not that exciting. It's like here, have my custom wallpaper here and there or of course be in the outro of our videos. And by the way, if I did cancel the Patreon, I would still put you guys in the in the Patreon supporters at the end of the videos for like, like months, months and months after you uh, stopped uh, donating or anything. But I haven't made it a, a for sure decision yet. I kind of want to hear your guys' thoughts on it, but I do understand that it gets a little bit weird when on Twitch, I'm asking people to subscribe with Twitch Prime or subscribe with the tier one sub. And then on YouTube, we have like the YouTube members program where you pay $5 a month to be a YouTube member. And then during streams, we have people buying bits and, and, and donating that way. There's people who super chat during our talk streams on this channel or during our T minus streams during a, a big uh, live stream. And we're getting to a point now where I feel like like we can support ourselves without like the need of constantly advertising another donation method like pay us here, pay us here, pay us here. It starts to get a little crazy and because a lot of people have been donating less or deleting their pledges or just being like, hey, you know what? I don't feel like this Patreon donation thing is really helping me out all that much. So they just stop donating. I don't blame you at all. So I don't think it would be the worst thing in the world if we decided to say, you know what? I'm not gonna ask for money as constantly as I have been. Let's just let people support us directly on YouTube or Twitch if they need to. Of course, our PayPal is an open email address. You can still donate to that as much as you want, whenever you want. But um, yeah, I think my final decision, of course, like I said, I would still keep fulfilling the rewards to the people donating for months after we officially close the Patreon, if we do. Essentially, like the only reward now that a lot of people are looking for is just to access the premium channels in our Discord. If you're a Patreon member, you can donate like $1 and then be eligible for the premium chats and 
and Discord. Whereas, you know, if we didn't have Patreon, you would have to spend tier one sub or, or more like $5 to get access to those channels. So maybe we should just keep the Patreon up for that and then maybe start phasing out the outros. And the only reason I think it might be a little bit cluttered to keep doing the outros on these videos that say thank you to our Patreon supporters. While I am very, very grateful and I'm thankful for you guys for doing that, we're going to be updating our channel, our intros and outros and everything uh, come January 1st, 2019. It's funny, uh, me and John Prosser actually do the same thing and we didn't communicate about this. We've been doing this for years. Both of our channels have been doing this for a long time, but anytime another year goes by and like the year changes from 2018 to 2019, we update all of our profile pictures, our cover photos, our designs, our intros and outros. We refresh all of that. We, we both kind of had that idea separately and we communicated recently and went, oh, we, we both do that. That's kind of cool. And one thing we're doing in 2019 now is that instead of just having the same animation as our outro that is our intro, instead we're going to have a regular new animated intro. And then for the outro, we're going to advertise two other Telosive channels. So, you know, in a Telosive Tech video, when it ends, you just get the basic T and it says Telosive Tech. Well, now you'll get the little Telosive Tech T animation and then it will promote two other channels and we'll put the YouTube cards overlaid on the content so that after people watch a Telosive Tech video, they can get recommended a gaming video or a vlog. And we're hoping that with those outros, they can promote the rest of the network a little bit better and let other people know that we make other types of content because right now it's kind of hard to find. You have to start looking in the description and the recommended channels and those aren't as easy to spot as would be just the videos ending and then you seeing that, oh, Telosive does other stuff as well. So the fact that the video is going to end now with the longer outro that promotes other channels, if the tech video ends with a promotion for the other channels and then ends with more Patreon thanking, it's going to end up being like 30 seconds of just outro. So you'll think you get six minutes of content when in reality you're just getting five and a half and I don't want to waste people's time. So anywho, that's just an idea. I'm throwing her out there. I'd love to hear what you guys think. And regardless though, I'm not like asking everyone who's a Patreon to stop sending money. You obviously can buy bits. You can be a YouTube member. You can be a YouTube member actually on Talos of Tech and gaming. You can join those, not talks because YouTube won't let us. It's kind of weird. But those two would be like the simple 10 bucks a month and you can super chat when we do our Talos of Talks podcasts on these channels. So there will still be plenty of ways to support us, but it just won't feel as crazy between like uh, support us here, 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 here. So that's what I'm thinking. Hope you guys can help me out on deciding this factor, whether or not we should keep the Patreon going. But either way, hope you guys have an excellent day. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.